Yo, welcome back guys, and in this video, I'm going to be continuing the ladder push using Royal Giant Mother Witch. Alright, so this version is honestly like pretty good, I'm not gonna lie to you. It definitely lacks against like air decks because it only has Mother Witch, but against pretty much anything else, this deck is really good. Oh, also maybe besides Sparky. <laughs> so like, yeah, I think it definitely lacks against Sparky as well. So like Sparky and um you know, like I said earlier, uh, you know, balloon decks, just any kind of air decks. But it's like really good against um I would say like goblin drills and giant graveyards for sure. Like there's a ton of giant graveyards in the meadow, so like by the way, I'm gonna go for this fisherman because this guy does not have a tornado in cycle, so that's a free king activation. So like it's already looking really nice. But yeah, pretty much against like goblin drills, it can do some work and definitely against like um you know giant graveyards, like I said it's super strong against because mother witch just goes absolutely crazy on it so yeah um this guy goes for an e-drag plus a um knight right there which is totally fine so my rg is going to get a ton of damage and he really shouldn't even get that much counter push so yeah i think right here i actually want to try to get the king activation um with this bomber right here so let's go ahead and do that wait <laughs> oh my gosh why did I totally just forget about me getting a Fisherman King activation? I literally just said that I got a Fisherman activation, and now I try to get an activation from a bomber. Like, it doesn't make sense, dude. I don't know what I was just thinking right there, but it is what it is. Um, he goes for a Colum at the bridge. Okay, I could just go for my Fisherman right here. I could go for my Barbarian Barrel on top of that. And I think right here, I could probably just like Mother Witch these skeleton dragons and I could go for my e-spirit as well which is pretty uh <clears throat> like a pretty good play in my opinion so yeah also I do want to mention guys um you know I don't really advertise it a lot but if you guys want to join my discord server um I'm gonna leave it in the description for you guys just so you guys can you know join it you guys can hang out and stuff like that I want to try to like build up the community in my discord so yeah I'll just leave it in the description so yeah um Let's see here. So my RG may get a shot right now. It does. Really nice damage right there. I'm going to go for my Mother Witch. Okay, that's a really bad Golem. I could just go for an RG at the bridge. And he really shouldn't have anything to defend this. So, yeah. Like, I really don't see a way. I can just go for a Fireball for the Skeleton Dragons. And that should be a very nice tower down. Just like that. So, yeah. Like, I played it pretty well. But he also didn't play the greatest. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and jump for the next match. Here's the next match against Don Eladio, I think is how you say that. So I'm going to go for an RG because he just played Bowler right there. So that's like 5 Elixir down. He goes for an Electro Wizard. So this may be like Graveyard and whatnot. <clears throat> so yeah, I mean, he's kind of like spending a lot of Elixir it seems like. And right here, I think I could just go for like a Bomber on top of that Bowler. And it should actually clean up the Bowler and not do any damage to my tower at all so yeah that should be pretty nice just like that that is perfect so like look at the position i'm putting already um his tower is already at 466 hp so i don't really see a way for him coming back and i think he actually just gave up potentially so that's really nice for me and i'll definitely take that so let's just go for the next match here's the next match against alf Faba? Alfaba? I think that's how you say that. Um, let's see what this guy's got for me. So he is playing the um, uh, Dagger Duchess, which, yeah, just completely destroys my Barbarian Barrel. But it is what it is. I'll just go for a Fisherman in the back, just for the sake of the video. Like, I really didn't have a good hand right there. Um, Alright, he goes for a Witch. I think right here I could just take a Fireball. Hopefully this guy doesn't have like an elixir pump, otherwise that's a, definitely a misplay. So I'll go for my e-spear just for my like fisherman to lock onto the witch. And yeah, I should be good to go. He has a sparky. I'm going to go for my RG. So if this guy has like a mini P.E.K.K.A., my dagger duchess will absolutely like just shred it pretty much. So that's why I go for this RG. He goes for a wizard instead. So yeah, pretty interesting deck for sure. I'm not going to lie to you. And yeah, my RG gets a ton of damage right there. Wow. Oh my gosh. Um, yeah, that's crazy. I'll just go for a fireball right there. He goes for a rage as well. Pretty interesting rage. And yeah, so like 
this deck is definitely pretty interesting but i should be fine potentially as long as like i have really good micro interactions i think that's definitely what's going to save me is the micro interactions because if i if i mess up one time on my defense it basically just falls apart like especially when playing against sparky guys like that's definitely the thing to take note is that like when playing against sparky using rg you gotta have like the perfect defense otherwise if you mess up one time you just like lose your tower that's just how it goes because i don't have the lightning and i don't have phoenix like i basically have all ground cards so sparky gets a ton of value against me so yeah he goes for a sparky on the other lane i'll just go for my rg the left hand lane he's got a firecracker <clears throat> so um yeah, my RG should get a ton of damage because that Dagger Duchess has, like, no DPS right now. So, I'll go for my Mother Witch right here. And, um, he goes for a Giant. I'll just go for my Fisherman. I'll go for my Electra Spirit. I'll go for my Bomber, just a tank. I'll go for my Royal Ghost as well. And is that a good defense? I think it is, actually. So, yeah, that's pretty nice. He goes for another Sparky. I can just go for my RG. I'll go for my Mother Witch plus my E-Spirit. Okay, I tried to predict the minion horde, not gonna lie to you, but he didn't play it, unfortunately. But yeah, that should definitely be tower regardless. And yeah, I'll go for my evil, bo or evil bomber on defense. Right here, he's probably gonna go for a giant, just like that. I'll go for my fisherman. <clears throat> I'll go for my barbarian barrel, plus my royal ghost, plus a fireball, plus an electric spirit. And that should be a very nice defense yet again. Um, the giant is doing a good amount of damage, but it doesn't really matter because I defended it pretty nicely for the most part. And yeah, let's go ahead and jump for the next match. Here's the next match. And um, let's see here. So I have an okay hand. I'll just give this guy the little Santa Claus emote, I guess. <laughs> I'll go for my royal ghost in the back. He goes for a bomber in the back. And yeah, so let's see. I'll go for my bomber. He's got Barbarians, so he's got Bomber plus Barbarians. This could be Lava Hound. This could be, like, I don't know, maybe Goblin Giant. This could be a lot of things, to be honest, so I'm not really sure. I'll go for my Barbarian Barrel for the Barbs. And, yeah, so... Okay, this is Eagolem. I'll go for my Mother Witch. Eagolem may be a little tough, not gonna lie to you. Um, especially, like, when they play their E-Drags, but... Okay, I'm definitely going to Fireball that. And I really feel like this guy has an elixir pump, so I'm gonna go ahead and drop an RG at the bridge. Try to force him to play a lot more stuff, so we can't, like, just pump up at the moment. Like, kind of just forcing him to defend, and yeah, my RG is getting a ton of damage right there. So, um, I'll definitely take that. And yeah, so, there's the elixir pump. Um, yeah, this may be a little tough to, like, maybe defend if he goes for a elixir golem and whatnot. Alright, he goes for a battle healer right there. I can just go for my evil bomber on defense, and I should be good to go. Maybe I could have played it at the bridge for some, like, quick damage, but it is what it is. I'm gonna go for my fisherman plus my electric spirit, and that should be pretty good. So, yeah. Oh, uh, let's see here. I'll just go for my barbarian barrel just to maybe get some damage. Wow, he's got a regular golem. Okay, um... Let's go for Mother Witch in the back. <clears throat> this is definitely going to be pretty tricky for sure because he has the E-Drag with the Battle Healer. So my game plan in terms of this is I gotta cycle two Fireballs on top of the Electro Dragon as quick as I can. That's like the only way to win this because if you just let the E-Drag survive, you basically just lose the game. So I'm gonna go for my Bomber in the back plus a second Fireball. Just like that. Like look at the defense, bro. That is exactly what I'm talking to you guys about. I gotta cycle two Fireballs on the defense. I'm gonna go for an RG, because he just used Barbarian, so, like, he shouldn't have enough DPS to, like, destroy this RG. Like, he kinda has to overspend a little bit. Oh, okay, he does got barbs, but it doesn't really matter, because I have my evil bomber just completely destroying them, bro. Now, you know what I can do? I can just cycle back to the Royal Giants, because he just used his Barbarians. Oh my gosh, that is so bad. That's a, a terrible golem. Yeah, I don't really see how he, like, breaks through this anymore. Um, or defends, I should say. So, I'll just go for a Fireball on top of the Skeleton Dragons, and just completely destroy the Bomber in the process. So, that's a really nice win. Um, that's going to go ahead and be the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll do more next time.